Thanks for watching. Now, Amal Kansime joins us this morning for some entertainment news. Good morning, Amal. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Fine, We're doing you. great, Amal. Bless I'll... us with some entertainment news this morning. <laughs> Still enjoying yourselves in this dirty December. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mine was washed with hypo, though, but like, <laughs> it's a very clean December. Oh. Now, in entertainment, for many people reuniting with family and kinsmen, that's what the festive period is really all about. And it seems the same for American actress Tiffany Haddish, who traveled from U.S. to Eritrea on December 28th to her father's country. Now, the comedian and actress was warmly welcomed by her grandfather's village in Eritrea. She wrapped herself with the country's flag and was surrounded by the community of people singing and cheering. She also shared the emotional moment in a video post with her 6.9 guys million Instagram followers with the caption, I am so happy to be welcomed by my grandfather's village so warmly. I love my people. The 42-year-old actress who was born and raised in Los Angeles obtained Eritrean citizenship on the country's Independence Day in 2019 visited years back to bury her father. She also attended the red carpet for the 2018 Oscars dressed in the traditional Eritrean garb to display her culture. Now during her welcoming in Eritrea she received a lot of support from other celebrities who applauded her decision to celebrate her roots really. Now, Hadesh, she was honored with a plaque uh, that read Tiffany Tashaye, residence Geza Karen, Eritrea, is now taking time to indulge in Eritrean culture, including a spa treatment called Tish and exploring many other traditions, traditions this holiday. Now, it's a, it's a beautiful moment to watch. Congratulations to her. But, um, Olisa, Olis and Olis, yeah. I want to ask wait, you. Wait, wait, I, before you ask, uh, I was, I, are you sure you're not the one we saw dancing? Because yeah, because the, the, the hair, hair looks... You know... Come on! That, yeah. That's Tiffany Haddish. Yes, uh, so dancing. Like Amal. Look at... Oh! Look, the, the look, at, look at Amal. Wow, wow, just and going... look at you, look Amal. Look at you, yeah. Just, just look, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> look at you, Amal. No but the thing is, <laughs> I, want, I want to ask a question. Like, this is beautiful for her, but isn't it? Really? Do, what do you think about the fact that yeah, an American get, can get citizenship so fast and an African has to pay to be in an African country. We, as Africans, we still need, you know, we still need permanent residence in an African country, while an American... She was, born, she, was born, she was easy. born out there. She has been, you know, talking about the African Eritrean roots of, of late in some of her series she's been doing, you know, online and also on stage. She's actually an Eritrean Jew, you know, uh, Jewish heritage, uh, but she's also African. Being that she came back on, you know, during Christmas to spend time with her village people. Only so. Yeah, who could be great. Hip hop is not appreciated in the hometown. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Hey, All thank right. you. Uh, uh, what's, what's that? What did they say? Yeah, um, the hope is not appreciated yeah, in his hometown. hometown. All right. Shikina. Okay. Uh, let's go to Ghana, shall we? <laughs> yeah. Now, like you say, moving on to Ghana. Now, honestly, what do you do? When you hear news that you consider untrue. <laughs> now, for Jamaican musician Anthony Moses Davis, popularly known as Miniman, whose news of his alleged arrest in Ghana has been circulating on social media, has decided to speak up and clear his name once and for all. Now, this comes after some Ghanaian media outlets reported on Monday that the dancehall legend was allegedly detained for flouting COVID-19 quarantine protocols after testing positive for the virus and actually also providing a fake COVID-19 vaccination card. Now, the music superstar who arrived in Accra to support Stoneboy's BHIM Nation concert, which held on 21st December 2021 at the Accra International Conference Center, has spoken out against earlier reports of his arrest. Now, Biniman took to social media to show pictures of negative test results recently taken as proof that he was covid free throughout his trip to Ghana, adding that as a carrier of the sickle cell disease, he understands the importance of protocols set out to help stop the spread of the virus. Now, beyond debunking rumors in his announcement, he went on to thank Stoneboy and his team for hosting a successful concert. He said this, and I quote, I think with addressing news like this, he is not only clearing his name, but also reminding people of the importance of not spreading the deadly virus, and that too is important. So I mean, I'm, I'm glad this out. We all love Biniman. I mean, Biniman was like my favorite artist in high school. That was like, yeah. yeah, you don't want to have Biniman arrested in Ghana. Come no, but I'm on. surprised. Why is he not suing the media outlets who came out with this false information? It's, it's, it's this is a good when, way to make money. Ah. When Maria ah. went to Ghana, I think yeah, Maria when she went to Ghana. 
same thing happened. She, um, they were saying she had COVID, she was COVID positive, she was saying COVID negative. But all in all, I just think everyone needs to stay safe. Um, everyone just needs to, to protect out. themselves, honestly, because um, this um, Omarion or like Marion or Micron. <laughs> right. thank, just you, safe, thank you safe. very much. Amal. At least being man yeah. be arrested in Ghana, that you know, that's that not going to be uh, yeah. too good. Thanks once again, Amal, for the is it thank Tiffany you. Amal or Hadish <laughs> Amal, okay, or Hadish Kansime. Thanks uh, for thank entertainment. You, eh?